Hello you gorgeous lovely people this is Chris from Techspert and I'm here with a trio of great value Honor smartphones. Here in the middle of this menage a trois is the sleek and shiny new Honor 8X. To the left we've got the older Honor 7X launched at the end of 2017 but still good budget value handset and on the right we've got the Honor 10 flagship phone. So which one might be best for you? Let's do a full comparison of the hardware, the software, everything you need to know so you can see. And don't forget for lots more in-depth hands-on coverage of the latest tech do poke that subscribe button down below. Cheers! So first up stick the three side by side you can clearly see the Honor 8X is the beast of the bunch. It's a 6.5 inch handset, one of the biggest smartphones launched in 2018. But the good thing is that at least Honor has managed to basically cut out pretty much all of the bezels surrounding that display. So it isn't an absolute monster. As you can see there, I suppose a similar sort of design to the likes of the iPhone XS. Very slender bezel down below, especially when compared with the other Honor handsets in this roundup. Because the Honor 7X and the Honor 10 both got a slightly thick bezel down below, actually thick enough for the entire logo to be slapped on there as well in the case of the 7X. And while the Honor 10's display is only a smidgen smaller than the Honor 7X, as it's a 5.84 inch compared with the Honor 7X, which is 5.92, it does, of course, sport a bit of screen notch action up top. That just helps the display to reach basically to pretty much the very top of the smartphone just to help keep it nice and compact. It's definitely the most easy to handle out of these three phones. That said, thankfully all three of these smartphones rock a one-handed mode. All you need to do is just swipe your thumb or your finger across that navigation bar down at the bottom and as you can see it just minimizes the entire display and makes it much easier to use with a single mate. If we spin these three phones around you'll see they rock a very different design from one another. The Honor 7X is definitely the odd one out as it rocks this matte metal finish. This was obviously all the style back in 20. 2017, but these days, 2018, it's all about the shiny, glossy glass finish instead, which is what the Honor 8X and the Honor 10 rock. We really, really love the stylings of the Honor 10. As you see there, it's got this neat sort of disco back. Uh, as it catches the light, it sort of morphs from blue to purple, and you've got this neat striation effect as well. Very sleek. And while this black model of the Honor 8X isn't quite as exciting, you can also pick it up in blue and red. Sadly not red in the UK, that's only available overseas. But certainly the blue model also looks very, very nice and colourful, just like the Honor 10. So I'd recommend picking up that version if you can. Of course, the one bad thing about glass smartphones is they pick up smudges and grease rather easily, which is something that the Honor 7X most certainly won't. So if you want something that's going to stay nice and uh, smart without having to be constantly buffed up, then this is the one for you. And all three phones have proved perfectly rugged as well. I've given them a good bashing about. I've just slapped them in my backpack, uh, treat them with utter contempt and disrespect. And absolutely fine, no problem, no cracks on the glass ones, uh, no real proper dents or anything on the Honor 7X, so all good. Good news if you still rock some wired headphones as well, because all three of these Honor phones have a bit 3.5 millimeter headphone jack action. As you see there, they all have uh, bottom mounted speakers as well. Not only the Honor 10 actually sports a Type C USB uh, charging port, the other two use micro USB. As for security, as you can see, both the Honor 7X and the Honor 8X have a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. It just falls naturally under your finger when you pick up the smartphone nice and easy. And in both cases, nice and nippy and responsive as well. If I tap them at the same time, you'll see the screen basically turns on pretty much straight away, nice and responsive. In the Honor 10, the fingerprint sensor is actually mounted right here beneath the screen instead, rather than on the back. Again, it's nice and nippy though, um, so just a quick tap and you're straight into your desktops. And the great thing is it's actually built into the glass on the Honor 10 as well, which means that even if your thumb is a little bit moist, if, it, if it's full on wet, it won't work, but if it's a little bit damp, uh, then it should still pick up your print, no problem. And in more good news, if for uh, whatever reason you can't use the fingerprint sensors on any of these three smartphones, for instance, you're wearing gloves or your hands are a bit mucky from working in the kitchen, something like that, all three of these handsets also support a bit of face unlock. Uh, and it works really, really well as well. All you need to do is just tap that power button and boom, you're straight into your desktops as long as you set the option to uh, to bypass the lock screen entirely. And it works really, really well as well. While his face recognition works nicely in low light, uh, even if you're wearing sunglasses, things like that, it'll pick up your mug no problem, so top-notch stuff. So as I already mentioned, the Honor 8 x sports the biggest display by quite some margin. It's 6.5 inches compared with just under 6 inches for the other two smartphones, although all three phones rock a full HD plus resolution, so you do get nice crisp visuals, even on this larger Honor 8X display, as you see there, if we punch in nice and close, 
Uh, the tiny text is nice and legible, uh, the icon's nice and sharp. And it's an IPS panel uh, on all three phones as well, but despite that, uh, still pretty punchy colours as well, and it's customisable too if you dive into the display section. You can see you can play around with the general colour, temperature and output, uh, and you've also got the uh, the night mode as well, or the eye comfort mode as well it calls it, and that just filters the blue light, uh, you can schedule it for night, just for a nice, easy on the eye, comfortable experience. So as you can see here, nice punchy uh, hues on all three of these smartphones. I think the Honor 7X is probably the least vivid of the three, but there's not not really a massive amount in it. Uh, definitely the Honor 8X and the Honor 10 just seem to be particularly shining for some of those pinks and oranges, uh, as you can see there. But yeah, definitely they all are perfectly good for enjoying a bit of Netflix, something like that, browsing your photos, etc. No worries on top brightness either. You'll absolutely be able to see these screens clearly even in bright sunlight, as you see there, they are really super powerful. And of course, as you can uh, clearly see here as well, the Honor 7 X is the only one not to rock a screen notch, uh, which has basically become the norm in 2018 now. Not everyone likes a good bit of notch action though, but thankfully, in the case of the Honor 8X and the Honor 10, you can knock it off or basically mask it from view if so desired to get that nice, clean, flat on a 7X appearance. So what about the software? Well, all three of these smartphones are running a bit of Android Oreo with a bit of a Motion UI 8 slathered on top. That just gives you plenty of bonus features on top of the standard Android Oreo stuff. So for instance, we've already touched on the likes of the face recognition in the security section and uh, the one-handed mode as well, which comes in particularly handy here on the Honor 8X. You also get various other motion controls as well, the likes of raise your ear to answer a call, uh, flip it over to mute it. You also get a bunch of uh, standard Huawei apps slapped on top of there as well. So for instance, the usual phone manager, uh, that just helps you to basically check out your general resources. You can block nuisance numbers, you can scan for viruses, stuff like that. It's actually pretty Pretty handy. And of course you get the likes of the Game Suite app as well which is basically acts as a hub for all of your games. It just allows you to, uh, for instance, block any notifications that might be ticking through while you're uh, getting your game on, you don't want to get distracted, then that is definitely a good thing. And speaking of gaming, when it comes to the performance, the Honor 10 is still the best of the bunch with its Kirin 970 chipset. As you can see here, it outperforms the other two Honor phones when it comes to the benchmark. And although there's not a massive leap between the Honor 10 and the Honor 8X, which rocks the mid-range Kirin 710 chipset. Sadly, the Honor 7X does linger way back in third place with its older Kirin 659 platform. However, all three phones do have four gigs of RAM packed inside. Uh, so you generally get some nice smooth performance for your everyday use. Apps tend to load up without too much issue on all three of these handsets. You might get the occasional little stutter or stammer here on the Honor 7X, but nothing too serious. And the good news is, if you do like to play a bit of PUBG, things like that in your spare time, then all three of these smartphones uh, support Huawei's GPU Turbo update. As you can see, all three of these phones can handle a bit of PUBG, no problem at all. Nice smooth frame rate. In the case of the Honor 10, it is actually run on the high detail levels. Uh, and even uh, then, it's absolutely fine, the frame rate, thanks in uh, no small part to that GPU turbo update. Go check out my full video on that to see what a difference it makes to the general stability. But the case the Honor 7X, the Honor 8X, it's on the medium uh, detail settings. And as you can see, a pretty smooth frame rate overall, doing a nice bit of sprinting through the countryside at the moment. And as you can see there, nice and smooth. Sometimes it can get a tiny bit juddery when you've got a bit of a firefight going on, something like that, or you're whizzing around in a vehicle. Yeah, if you're planning on doing a lot of gaming for the next sort of year or two, we'd definitely recommend jumping up to the Honor 10 if at all possible, just steer them away from that cliff edge. And when it comes to the battery tech, the Honor 8X has the larger cell here, 3750 milliamp, not too surprising as it is the biggest handset by quite a margin. The Honor 7X here has a 3340 milliamp and the Honor 10 has a 3400 milliamp, so more or less the same size. Of course, that Honor 8X does have the larger display to power, as we find that the battery life is pretty much the same on all three of these handsets. You'll get a day and a half of pretty intensive use out of all three of them. And if you do do a lot of gaming, Skype and things like that, you can generally make it to bedtime before you'll need to stick it into charge. And as you can see there, you've got all of your usual power saving modes and everything as well if you really are struggling. As for the storage space, the Honor 10 is the obvious winner here with 128 gigs built in. Although you do get a pretty generous 64 gigs on the 7X and the 8X as well. Not bad at all for that sort of budget to mid-range price point. However, where the 7X and the 8X do beat the flagship phone is the fact that they support micro SD expandability. So you can slap in a memory card of up to 400 gigs in the case of the Honor 8X and 256 gigs in the case of the Honor 7X. And the Honor 10, sadly, none of that. 
All of which delights bring us onto the camera tech. As you can see, all three Honor smartphones sport a bit of dual lens camera action here on the rear. So the Honor 10 is actually the most advanced of the three, however, you get a 16 megapixel RGB lens bolstered by a 24 megapixel secondary monochrome lens. And those are both f1.8 to suck up a decent amount of light in those sort of low light situations. The 7X and the 8X both sport a very simple 2 megapixel depth sensor as their secondary lenses. That's basically just used for the portrait mode in order to get a proper depth of field. The Honor 7X has a 16 megapixel primary camera and that's been boosted up to a 20 megapixel for the Honor 8X. When it comes to the selfie cameras, they're basically in order of awesomeness here. The Honor 7X boasts a simple 7 megapixel front facing camera that gets boosted up to a 16 megapixel for the Honor 8X. And in the case of the Honor 10, you get a 24 megapixel selfie cam. If you dive on into the camera apps as well, you'll see the 7X is the most basic of the three. It doesn't support the new AI scene recognition which you get on the 8X and the Honor 10. It's basically just a slightly more advanced version of that auto mode scene recognition. It really helps to boost some colours and bring your scene to life which is actually pretty impressive. Unless you're trying to shoot a naturally vivid scene in which case we'd recommend knocking it off because things can get a little bit too sort of like yellow submarine surreal really acid trip in your face kind of thing. All three phones do of course support a portrait mode using those dual lens cameras in order to snap nice and crisp onto your subject and keep the background all blurred. Very snazzy effects indeed. And of course you've got a bit of a move and picture mode in all three phones as well that just shoots a brief snippet of video with every photo you take to help bring your galleries to life as you're flipping through. And as you'd expect, you've got a plethora of bonus camera modes on all three of these Honor phones as well. You do, of course, have full manual controls in all three of these handsets. Um, so that's handy if you just uh, know, know exactly what you're doing with the camera. You want to get a very precise kind of uh, result with uh, the likes of the white balance, the shutter speed, things like that. You get good results with all three of these phones, which the 7X is a bit more lacking compared with its more modern contemporary uh, efforts here. However, we really have to give a shout out to the Honor 8X with its excellent night mode. This is uh, the same sort of night mode that you get on the P20 and the P20 Pro. It allows you to shoot a nice long exposure shot even when you're holding the phone by hand. None of the blurry results, really, really smart, nice bright images. Definitely go check out our full Honor 8X camera review over on Recombo if you want to see some in-depth results of that. Of course the Honor 10 still shoots very respectable night shots as well but nothing on that sort of level. As for the video, unsurprisingly once again they are ranked in ascendant order. So here on the Honor 7X you can basically shoot simple full HD video at 30 frames per second. In the case of the Honor 8X you can shoot full HD at either 30 or 60 frames per second. The results are pretty good at that 60 FPS level. And on the Honor 10 you can shoot all the way up to Ultra HD 4K resolution. Of course the image stabilization ain't great when you boost the full HD to 60 frames per second or when you bump all the way up to 4K levels. So you will want to stand pretty still while you're shooting. And that right there in a nutshell is how these three on a smartphones compare. The Honor 7 actually can pick up really cheap these days because it is basically fast approaching its first birthday, though we have to say the Honor 8X is great value at just under 250 quid. The boost in the performance and the upgraded camera tech alone make it well worth your while, although of course it is a bit of a beast as well at 6.5 inches which won't suit everyone. If you want that slick performance and that great camera tech as well but in a more compact form then we'd recommend the Honor 10, although of course you will have to boost up your budget a bit. The Honor 10 does still sport the better camera tech as well, even though it lacks the night mode that you'll find in the Honor 8X. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Which Honor smartphone do you think might be best for you? It'd be great to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to poke that subscribe button for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, including lots of Honor goodness, because they launch a new phone pretty much every two weeks. Thanks, everyone. Love you. Bye.